let's just sew whatever. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am reviewing the Marikai backpack from Bagstock Designs. This backpack, I love it so much. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the connectors, but it is the only time I've ever seen it done that way, and it's pretty beginner friendly, so I don't think you would have a bad time with it. I absolutely love the flap. It's such a nice size. You could do a real statement fabric on the flap and then like do a solid color everywhere else, something like that. There is a zippered pocket across the front. It goes all the way. Um, and then I think it stops about right there. So it's a nice big pocket. The sides are expandable. So I used 18 millimeter magnetic snaps for the sides and then waterproof canvas for the lining. Um, I didn't make it a slip pocket. I thought it would be a perfect size for like a planner or notebook. And then there's a zippered pocket there. I used Woven Fuse on this exterior fabric. It's a canvas. Woven Fuse 2. And then I used Decaville Light in the side panels because it was a thin vinyl, but I don't think you would need it. Um, as well as foam in all the pieces, except on the bottom. I just used Decaville Heavy here. And then I used fusible fleece in the flap. So that's it for interfacing that I used. Um, the vinyls I use, I mentioned in the tutorial. And then this main fabric is one that I designed. Um, all the hardware is available on my website. Um, these are wide mouth slide adjusters. So if you're gonna make it with a vinyl, definitely recommend getting those wider slide adjusters. But yep, I am so excited to Hopefully someday make more of these. I think it's a really nice size. I probably should see like what fits in it. But I think it's super cute. Comes to a nice place on your back. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and then here it is compared to the flare crossbody bag. So the crossbody bag is quite petite good medium to small size and then this I would say is like a medium to large ish backpack so this is just like a clipboard with a piece of paper or with paper on it oh you can see it never mind um, and that fits in there pretty well and it's still able to be snapped shut so hopefully that kind of gives you an idea if you wanted to put like folders in it, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I definitely don't think you would regret purchasing this pattern. All of Bagstock's patterns are extremely well written and I love that they kind of are like capsule collections. Like some of them take little pieces from others. So you could kind of learn as you're sewing through her patterns and it's just really fun. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video.